Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion on Nixus Gaming. In the last episode, we were here in Bliss, finishing up the side quests and exploration that we can do here in New Sheoth. We still have a couple left that I want to knock out this episode, but they lead us outside of the town. The two I have in mind are the Fork of Heripolation and a Liquid Solution, which we are going to start with that one. So a liquid solution, if you remember there was Sickly Bernice in Crucible, and somebody basically asked for asked her for a three uh bleh, sorry, a free night in the inn if they told her a cure for her sickness. And they said the cure was over here in Naughty Bramble. So let's go check it out. Let's travel to Blackroot Lair and we're gonna dive into the Naughty Bramble. Oh, we got Grumites here. Never a moment's rest when we're in the aisles. That's a lie. We have gotten plenty of rest here. I don't know what kind of enemies we'll find in the Naughty Bramble. My bet is uh, more Grumites. And these death dealers, they just like lay into you. No chance. Uh, that's not the dungeon we're going to. Which way? We want to go this way. But, uh, yeah, what was I saying? I was saying something. Uh, this cure, totally legit, right? Not just a reason for this guy to get a free night in the inn, right? Totally. Why would he lie about that? Man, if we have time, I... Oh, why walk when you can run has always been your motto. Now the miles of running and hours of swimming have paid off. You are an expert of athletics. Your rate of fatigue regeneration when running is increased by 75%. So look at that. We're running and we are gaining fatigue. So we cannot be tired out by running anymore. It looks like only really jumping will tire us out a little. But by the time we've landed, we jump so high. By the time we land, we just uh, we have all of our stamina back. Or fatigue. So it's pretty cool. I keep getting interrupted in what I'm saying. And forgetting what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I was hoping that we finish these two quests early enough. That way we can finally go and meet the mad god Sheogorath himself. I feel like that would be a nice way to end the episode. He's like one of the main characters in this quest line, so... See, it looks like there's a little pathway here to the bramble that I'm just kind of skipping over. Let's go ahead and follow that. And just as I thought, we do have Grumites here. I'm not a huge fan of fighting these things. Because they tend to take some hits. They block with their shields a decent amount. And if they stun you, they do just kind of lay in you. We're being helped by a dark seducer here. That's nice. How helpful. Oh, and there's our skin hound. He's like most likely gonna die here. If I'm being honest. Wait, what? They're killing my dog. Blessings, citizen. They just fucking killed my dog. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I was wrong. He's not going to most likely die here in the dungeon. He's just going to die outside because of a bunch of bitchy dark seducers. Apparently, you're not allowed to have a dog out in the wilderness, but whatever. I need to make my way to the pool sickly Bernice spoke of and recover a sample of the Aqua Nostrum, the miracle cure. And of course, the uh, Dark Seducers don't follow us in here. We got two Death Dealers right away. Is he sapping strength from his own buddy? I think he was for a second there. That's kind of strange. Or maybe it wasn't strength, because these guys can... I think they can pretty much just suck out any stat from you. But I feel like that red stream was definitely going to his buddy there. Uh, where'd... Hollowed Amber Stump. I guess we can grab some Amber. Where'd the other guy go? There he is. 
Madness Claymore Matrix. We can make a Claymore from that if we want. Let's pull up our local map because these dungeons tend to get a little confusing. Hollowed Stump. These are... Those are like treasure chests. Okay. I assume these were like a trap because of the gas coming out of them. Okay, I've definitely skipped some of those then. Uh, let's see. I think those blue things there that I'm pointing at right there, those open the twisted roots. So we can't really uh, get anything from... or open that from here. We gotta go around, I guess. And deal with a pain bringer. A little weaker than a death dealer. Still kind of annoying. There we go. Now I need to keep an eye out for those uh, hollowed out uh, stumps. Because that's where all my treasure is going to be. That explains why I didn't find a whole lot of treasure in the first dungeon we went through. Because I was just skipping through all of those. Interesting. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're a death dealer. Oh, sapping my strength. I love that. Let's just lay into him as much as we can before our strength gets sapped too much. And then fight the one behind him. Can you please just stop blocking? There's another block. Put your arm down. There we go. Oh man, they know how to tick me off with these fights. Definitely. What are you? Oh my god. Wait, so is that like... I'm guessing that's like a pressure pad. If you step on it, it activates those things. It's cool, it's like a natural trap. It looks pretty dangerous, though, not gonna lie. We'll just uh, move on from that. Okay. Uh, where are we? So that leads to the exit there. Or to the next area. The hatchery, I'm assuming that's our way back through the end of the dungeon. So if we take this route, it should lead to a dead end. With a skeleton. I see I've triggered an enemy from another area there. But it doesn't look like there's anything useful here. So this thing, that's... That's like a treasure chest. Okay. Hey, beater. You're weak. Oh my god, there's there's so many of them. Uh, the torturer, he should go down pretty fast. We got a death dealer and a pain bringer. Let's take out the pain bringer next. Save the hardest one for last. That way we're only focusing on him alone. You know, basic etiquette, when you're fighting a boss, you want to take out the adds first if you can. That way you're only focusing on the boss. Easy enough. Madness or from my eggs and that. Actually... I want to circle back around to here because there's something else that we're looking for in this dungeon. We're looking for a skull here. And it would not be that skull. Do we still have the other skull? Didn't we pick up another one? I don't think we have actually. We haven't picked up another one. So the skulls are interesting for a little unmarked quest involving the Hill of Suicides. Basically, if you go there, there are five ghosts that have uh, killed themselves in the aisles. And they're just stuck there in limbo until their skulls are returned to them. So as you're adventuring... Hey, a flawless pearl. As you're adventuring, you can find five skulls around the entire Shivering Isles. And you can bring them to these ghosts and basically set them free. I know where like three of them are. I don't know where the other two are. But I guess if we have time at the end of all this, I can show that off and free them, you know? 
I'll load amber limb, take some amber from that. I think we can move on to the next area. To the hatchery. Well, this is from the hatchery too. So is this only two zones? Yeah, that's a green there. So we're pretty much already done with this. Oh man. The, the, the design and the... And I can't think of words. I can't word today. Oh, Magis Painbringer. I guess that just means you're a magic version. Take those. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I recorded this after the last episode. So if you're watching these back to back, you probably know that I was having problem wording in the last episode too. I don't know what it what it is about today. But I just can't figure out what words I want to say. Um, interior design. That's what I was going to say. The design and interior design of these Grumites is really interesting. Very different from the rest of Cyrodiil. Where'd this guy go? There he is. Um, that looks interesting too. The little statue there of a guy holding eggs. I guess because it's the hatchery. Should I go up there or over here? There's a guy to kill over here. He's just going to stand there and try and shoot his bow at me point range while I beat the hell out of him. Always a good decision. Alright, let's dive down. I've arrived at the pool. Bernice described I should get as close as possible to the statue to gather a sample. Um, I have a bad feeling feeling about this though let me explore around where does this go to the lost crypt so there is a third area here okay um yeah i have a bad feeling about what's gonna happen hey there where do you come from oh, i didn't even activate it it just gave it to me and these uh death dealers are just coming after me now. Well, I mean, we got what we needed for the quest, but of course I want to finish exploring this place. Especially because we got one of the flawless pearls we need here. So there's always a chance we'll find more. Hey, you want to hit me, buddy? You're one ugly motherfucker, you know that? God damn. Don't want to stare at that face too long. Who needs to uh, actually attack me? We can just shield each other. And stare at each other, and eventually I'm gonna die just from staring at you. That's how ugly you are. That's right. If I taunt him, he's not gonna shield as much. He'll just attack me instead, which leaves him open. That's how you do it. Strong potion of healing. I'll take it. So I guess I don't have to activate that. It just automatically gave it to me. Um, yeah, that leads to a different area. I'm guessing... God, I hate those things. I'm guessing it leads back to the beginning. Yeah, to the Naughty Bramble. Probably to that other exit we were at. But before we go there, let's check out the Lost Crypt, shall we? Just gonna disrespectfully jump over the uh, Grumite statue head there. The amount of disrespect, you know? Alright, into the Lost Crypt. What am I doing here? Is this just like a little bonus area? A Magus Death Dealer. And a regular Death Dealer. Yeah, I just killed your Magus friend. Are you enjoying this? Just laying into me and conveniently blocking as soon as I go to attack you? Like, is there such a thing as aimbot but with melee? Like, the game just hacks and tells you exactly when you need to shield. Because I feel like the enemies have that sometimes here. What the hell is that? Is that fire? That's something over there. Okay, we'll leave that behind. You know, we definitely do need to go into this area because we still have two things we need to find here. They're not related to the quest at hand. But we need to find that skull 
And there's something for the Museum of Oddities here. So let's take those. And oh my. We're not even in a Grumite cave anymore. We got Madness Ore Deposits. We're just in a crypt now. Some would say a lost crypt. Okay, I don't see any more Grumites so far though. We need to double check the skulls on all of these skeletons. Just in case they're the ones we're looking for. Uh, wh what's your deal? I can't loot you. Are you alive? No, you're not alive. I just... Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up! I don't think she's waking up. Okay, that's interesting. Let's move on. Um, hello? Wake up! Wake up! These guys aren't waking up. There was like an inside area here. Yeah, you. How do I... How do I get to you? Is this going to open up at some point? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to be mad if that's the skull I need, though. Let's just move on for now. I see a Grumite here. I see a dead Grumite. I think there's another one up ahead. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of them up ahead. Come on. Oh, my God. Hey, at least that time we all got hit by it. should probably... Can you let me move away from it before it goes off again? Or are you just stalling me with your shield blocks? I think that's what he was doing. Just stalling me until the trap goes off again. Come here. Let's, let's come away from that. I realize I'm probably going to have to pass back over it, though. Especially if I want to either get out of here or loot your friend there. God, the- oh my god, the shield blocking is ridiculous on these guys. You can only hit them twice before they block with their shield, and if you try and wait out their shield, they just stand there, and they don't do anything. I hate it. Okay, let's loot that, let's move on. Let's see, Watcher's Eye, we need... We need one of these, but a unique one of it. So keep an eye out for plants that look like these Watcher's Eye. Take that. Basically like the deformed Swamp Tentacle, how it looks like the uh, regular Swamp Tentacles. We're finding a unique variant of the Watcher's Eye, which should be called the Blind Watcher's Eye. Uh, where's that? That's gonna drop back down? So is this like the end here? Um... I think we've missed something around here. Let's drop down. Cause yeah, that's the way back. Let's do another look around, try and find the skull and the watcher's eye. I don't think I saw any other watcher's eye plants anywhere though, unless I just wasn't paying attention. And I know 100% I didn't see a skull. See, I'm willing to bet that's the skull I need in there. I just... I don't understand how I'm supposed to get in there. Very interesting. I don't see like any kind of switch anywhere. Are you gonna get me? No, you're not gonna get me this time. I don't see any more Watcher's Eye any either. Okay, it was just labeled as a regular Watcher's Eye, but I found the blind one. 
Okay, we got the blind one, so that's good. Now we just need the skull, and we can get out of here. Um... And if it's that skull that's in there, I have no idea how to get it. So let's drop back down. And I'm going to pause real quick. Just to make sure that this is the skull I'm looking for. Because that's the only skull I haven't gotten to. Okay, so that is indeed the skull I'm looking for. And it's kind of weird how you find the switch. So if you notice... These statues are looking up. And so are these statues. And so are these statues. And so is that one. But this one is looking down. So let's look down at what he's looking at. Maybe. Did I do it wrong? Is this not actually it? I'm... What? Hey, buddy, why are you looking down? What, what's got you down? What's got you so down, buddy? I'm confused. I thought this was it. I really thought this was it. Hmm. Is it, like, something to do with this? Oh. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? There we go. Is there anything under you? Out of curiosity? See, I don't drag bodies around a whole lot in these games, so I forget that they can hide stuff under them. Alright, we got the skeleton. An ebony dagger replica. That sounds interesting. I don't know what it does, but I'll take... Were those guys alive the entire time? Uh, that guy was alive. Was... Okay, they were alive the entire time. Just waiting for me to move their bodies and enter the sacred room with Lauren's bog trotter. Okay, well, uh, we got a chest in here, too. Let's go ahead and unlock that, get the gold. This one has some goods in it. We got an urn as well. Two urns. And I think that's gonna do it for this dungeon. We got the Watcher's Eye. We got the, uh, the Cure. God damn it. We got the Blind Watcher's Eye, we got the Cure for uh, Sickly Bernice, and we got the Skull of Lorenz Bogtrotter, which uh, we're just going to keep in our inventory for now. We aren't get really going to do anything with it yet. In fact, I don't think there's anything that brings us directly to the Hill of Suicides. So, as I said, that might be a last thing we do. Or, don't do it, don't do it. That might be a last thing we do at the very end of this DLC. But uh, we're now on the other side of this first room, so we can open that. And it should be to the right here, where the exit is. Yeah, right up here. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's fast travel back to Crucible and get this cure to Sickly Bernice. Uh, let's see. It's, like, right up here. This is her building, I believe. Yeah, Sickly Bernice's Tap House. I hope you have something for me. I do. I found the cure. Let me see. Yes, this is it. Please, accept this as a gesture of thanks. <laughs> is the least I can do for you? After all, you saved my life. <laughs> Alright, so... Scalons carry diseases. I'm assuming that helped her. Sleepy, are you? She doesn't you sound any better. But, I mean, we finished the no, quest. Yeah. That's all that matters. Uh, I'll, I'll probably look into that in between episodes to see if anything comes from giving her the cure, like, later on. 
Because you know there's some stuff in the game that has after effects after you finish the quest. I'm thinking that might be one of them. But uh, next, we're going to go after the Fork of Haripolation, an old Sheogorath artifact from Morrowind. So, Big Head, he was in Bliss. So, let's hop through Crucible over to Bliss. And he wanted us to take this charm and talk to one of the beggars over there named Bullwing. And apparently, only Big Head can understand Speed Bullwing. Citizen. And that's because he has this charm, but now we have the charm. I'm so full. And we can talk to Bullwing. Just, uh, main thing here. We gotta find Speak Bullwing. Well, where's the way around here? God, this place is so confusing. Are you Bullwing? Hi. No, I don't know who you are. You're not important, that's for sure. Uh, maybe. Oh, you're juggling. Why do you always stop juggling right when I get to see you juggle? I hate you. Every time, man. It looks like Bullwing's actually back in Crucible. For whatever reason. So let's hop over here, through here. Um. Is Bullwing... No, Bullwing's down here. Ah, there's Bullwing. Oh, I remember you. Fribble, just frib Wait, you can understand me? Lovely. It's been too long since I was able to have a nice chat with someone. What a pleasant surprise. Previously, it was only poor Big Head who seemed to understand me, and he's always in such a lather about that fork. I'm actually here about the fork, buddy. Ah, yes. The fork of Horripilation. I have heard rumors about it. It appears that Lord Shergorath has returned it to the Isles. Not surprising, I suppose. He does enjoy his toys. Last I heard, some heretics had gotten hold of the item in question. Unfortunately, it seems to be an item of great importance for some of the Zealots as well. They've been fighting over it for some time now. Okay, so some heretics it sounds have like it. the Knights of the Nine are on a real cruise. It's so weird when they mention oh, yeah, stuff sir. from Cyrodiil as a rumor. I, I don't like that. It's weird. But uh, this is the camp we're going to over here. It is on the Bliss side, so we're going to travel to the Gates of Madness. Now, I think the heretics and the zealots are another, like, flip-floppy thing. I think the heretics are more on the bliss side, while the zealots are more on the uh, cru er, crucible side. Dementia and mania. So, in one side, you have mania with bliss and the heretics. On the other side, you have dementia with crucible and the zealots. Speak, citizen. It's it's weird. It's there are different enemies that you normally find in each of them too, and yeah, the enemies can crisscross. It's like the Dark Seducers are always on the Crucible side, and the Golden Saints are all, always on the Bliss side. Each one has its own Dutch or Duke or Duchess that leads over it too that we'll get to know in the uh, main quest line. It's like different sides of the same coin. Everything is flip-flopped on each side, but hey. We got some heretic crusaders. A transformed heretic. Hey, I'd run too if some madman in a crusader outfit just came into your camp swinging. Where's the other one? There you are. Hey, you're the last one. You gotta die too. There we go. Okay, strong potion of dispel. Strong potion of healing. And the fork of haripolation. Okay, well there it is. We got it. Bark and sap. Don't know about that. Gold. A zealot crusader. 
Uh, I haven't gotten an update to the quest. But my marker, yeah, it's still here. Oh, there we go. I've found the fork. Easy. So I think it's because we've already been to the other camp that this was so easy. But uh, there's a skull there for us if we want it. Just a regular skull. Uh, another camp it can send you to is Hard Scrabble Camp, the Zealot Camp. Because these are the two camps fighting over the fork. So I don't know if there's a chance for the fork to be at the other camp. Or if you haven't been here, it sends you to this camp first where you learn it. It's at this camp, but I know both of these locations can be tied to the quest. We might have just got lucky and it sent us to the right one. I have no idea. The important thing, though, is that we have the fork. So let's go bring it back to Big Head. Where are you, Big Head? Here he is, just sneaking around. The fork? Songs of bringing? The fork for Big Head? Here is your fork. You bring the fork. Happy day. The blind shall see. The lame shall walk. The short shall tall. Forks for all. Big head names you friend. Songs of friendship. Songs of ship friends. Presents for you. Presents on hatching day. Big Head was hatched, but his brother was not. Presents for egg friend, almost forgot. Selfish Big Head, shellfish Big Head. Big Head no secrets, secrets of learning. Alchemy, sneaking and stabbing with blades. Which will you learn? Hmm, so we definitely don't want a blade secret. Our blade skill is maxed out. I don't think our alchemy skill is maxed out. But our sneak is definitely the lowest out of them. Uh, why don't we do the sneak secret? Why not? Although the alchemy... Is alchemy one of our main skills? If it is, that could get us a level up. I don't think it is one of our main skills though. Let's just do the sneak. The secret to sneaking is not to be seen. Empty rooms, empty tombs. Sneak in the dark. Though the blind man can see you. The blind man can see me. Well, that increased our sneak skill. A new face in the aisles brings the fork, perhaps. So, yeah, you do this quest and you get a skill boost from him. I'm actually curious, right? Yeah, alchemy was not one of our main skills. Uh, I don't know what our sneak skill was at before, but it's at 48 now. Something on our equipment is boosting it so i'm not sure what is but the point being is it's pretty high now the ring of the gray is boosting it by five points so it should be actually 43 but hey that's still a pretty high sneak Bye. skill if you ask me for someone who's gone through this whole game beating people with a mace slicing them with a sword or occasionally just stabbing them with a dagger I feel like that's a good sneak skill. Uh, that's going to finish up all the side quests I currently want to do in Bliss and Crucible. So what we're going to do next, long awaited, let's head to New Shayoth Palace and meet the Mad God himself, the central figure quickly, in this entire DLC. Let's head to the palace grounds. See, the palace grounds here are kind of a nice in-between for Bliss and Crucible. I don't know who you are. What do you want? Kithlon? Well, we'll leave Kithlon alone. These here... You see one here, you see one there. These are going to be very important for the quest line as we progress. And it kind of gives you a sneak peek of them. We'll learn what they are a little bit later, but... Also, this is one of the few areas in the game where you can see Dark Blessing Seducers citizen. and Golden Saints walking side by side with each other for a limited time. But we'll see how that goes while the uh, rest of the main quest unravels. Speak, citizen. But uh, let's head Help in me, to Sheogorath's palace. And there he is, sitting on his throne.
I do want to take a look around real quick. I think it's these pedestals. But I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. We got Haskell here too. That's the House of Dementia. That's the palace grounds. That'll lead to the palace grounds. And that'll lead to the House of Mania. So yeah, I don't actually see what I'm looking for here. Let me talk to Shale Gorath, then I'll figure that out. You got anything to say, Always. Haskell? Yes, is there something you require? Well, what do I need to know about this man before I talk to him? He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. It is by his will that we exist in this place. He is our Lord and Master. You'll want to speak with him soon, as I believe he has plans for you. You will find him in New Sheoth, in his palace. It is best not to make Lord Sheogorath wait. His whims are fleeting, and should he decide you are no longer necessary, it would be to your detriment. Oh, it would be to my detriment, my you say? Never done. It's to my well, detriment. Look who's here. You! How about that? I don't like this guy. I can't move. I can't move. Um. Um. I'm falling. Um. So that happens if you ever decide you want to attack Sheogorath. Remember, he is a Daedric Prince. He is basically a god. So, you probably don't want to attack a god because he will freeze you in place, teleport you way high into the air so that you fall and die. Without a fight. So don't attack the mad god. Always. A new arrival! Shame about my gatekeeper. I'm so happy I could just tear out your intestines and strangle you with them. <laughs> I suppose an introduction is in order. I'm Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, and other things. I'm not talking about them. You've probably figured that out by now. Let's hope so, or we're in real trouble. And out come the intestines, and I skip rope with them. <laughs> but perhaps now's not the time. And you've made it this far, farther than anyone else. Well done. Take this trinket of mine. Perhaps it will serve you well, or look lovely on your corpse. Charity of Madness added. Well, uh, what do you want? I've been waiting for you. For someone like you. For someone other than you for some time. I need a champion, and you've got the job! Time to save the realm, rescue the damsel, slay the beast, or die trying. Your help is required. A change is coming. Everything changes. Even Daedric Princes. Especially Daedric Princes. Changes, huh? Daedra are the embodiment of change. Change and permanency. I'm no different, except in the ways that I am. A Grey March is coming, and you're going to stop it. The Grey March? The details aren't important, at least not right now. Eternity is on a rather tight deadline. We'll get back to that later. Uh, what now? Now? You run an errand for me. An important one, of course. Anything I tell you to do is important. My realm, my rules. You're going to Zedillion. One of my favorite spots in the Isles. It's a little place I used to take care of unwanted visitors. 
and some are more unwanted than others. Uh, why is Zedillion? The gatekeeper takes care of most of the unwanted, but he's dead. We'll have to remedy that soon as well. Anyway, there are those that have other ways into my realm, and they're on the move. We don't want them here, trust me. So, you're going to get Zedillion up and running. Here's a little book to tell you how, and the attenuator of judgment. Uh, you'll need that too. Of course, you can always get more details from Haskell. He's a detail-oriented type of person, a big help, and a snappy dresser. Now, get going, before I change my mind. Or my mind changes me. Before he changes his mind or his mind changes him. Keep that in mind as we continue this main quest line. Uh, let's ask him about some things. Tell me more about the Grey March. Really? No need to trouble yourself with the details of that now. It would just cloud your little mind. What is important is getting to Zedillion. Quickly! Before I get bored. Oh, you wouldn't like me when I'm bored. Um, okay. Let's talk about something you obviously enjoy and wouldn't get bored about. Uh, your own city that you rule over, New Sheoth. Ah, New Sheoth. My home away from places that aren't my home. The current location is much better than some of the prior ones, don't you think? And yourself, Sheogorath. Yes? Speaking to me? Well, I'm he. He's me. And others as well. Or they were, weren't they? Others were him as well. Interesting. Um, what about the Shivering Isles? The Isles. The Isles! A wonderful place. I except when it's horrible. Then it's horribly wonderful. Good for a visit. Or... For an eternity. I want to point out that he doesn't have normal eyes. He has cat eyes. Which just adds to... The madness, I guess. Um, at least tell me about Zedillion, where I'm supposed to go. A little busy here! I'm trying to decide what to have for dinner. Oh, how I love eating. One of my favorite things to do. Talk to Haskell if you need more information. He's got more brains than a brain pie. Oh, brain pie. Perfect. Care to donate? Oh, uh, I'm I'm good. I'm good. You can go now. Run along, Scoot. So yeah, that's Sheo Gorath. He's a fun guy, and um, yeah. Okay, so what I was looking for earlier, it's because we hadn't technically finished the uh, Through the Fringe of Madness quest. But now that we've spoken to Shale Gorath, we have finished it. And it is these pedestals I was looking for. Yes, right here we have a replica gatekeeper's head. Basically, anytime you finish like a main quest from this DLC... You get an item from that quest on one of these pedestals. So now that we've finished the first one, we have a gatekeeper head here, which is kind of cool. You get to see artifacts from your journey through the aisles as you go through here. So we're pretty low on time. We're probably going to do the next two quests in the next episode. We'll talk to Haskell, get to know where we're going. But before I do that, I do want to head back to Crucible. And give, uh... That's Anya Herrick. That's not who I thought she was. We do want to give this blind watcher's eye to the Museum of Oddities. That way I don't accidentally, uh, turn it into a potion by mistake. So let's head back. Let's jump. I'm going to take a lot of damage. That's fine. And the museum was right through here. You saved the church from that wicked old alien king, didn't you? Well done. Again, referencing a Cyrodiil thing, which, again, is just weird. Uh, oddities. Have you found a new oddity that you'd like to contribute to the museum? 
I have a blind watcher's eye. Oh, how deliciously odd. I've never seen a blind watcher's eye before. It will have a place of honor in the museum. All right, that's all we got for her right now. See you. So we can go through the tour again. There it is right there. We can go through the tour again and she'll actually tell a little bit about that in the tour. But then she's just going to have a bunch of other empty stuff and I'd rather go through the tour when it's all finished. That way we hear everything. I'm also curious what she'll say about the ring of desiccation missing. But again, I'll go through all of that pretty much end of the game. So yeah, I think that's going to just about do it for uh, this episode of Oblivion. Let's fast travel to New Shayoth Palace. We'll end pretty much right in front of Haskell. That way we know where we're starting next episode. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all then. Bye-bye.